A right wing Canadian family was apparently so disgusted by the fact that in Canada, there is some acceptance of the LGBTQ community that they decided they're gonna sell it all and move to Russia, a place that hates and represses that community as much as they want them to. So this is last spring, YouTubers and dairy farmers Arend and Anissa Feenstra sold their farm, left Canada in search of a better spiritual life for their children and better farming opportunities. Well, maybe they found the farming opportunities, but they also found some troubles. So we're gonna show you a video from back in May of last year explaining what their their thought process is in making this move. Amazing how much it's grown and disgusted by uh, just what we see, and this is one of the main reasons why we want to leave this country. And I probably won't air this until after we leave, but um, just the, the homosexual flags everywhere. They have these uh, the gay gay pride flags are hung as big giant banners all up and down the roads. They're in every store. Uh, a lot of the storefronts have little flags hanging there too. Um, that's that's the direction that we're all headed in here and become more and more desensitized to it. So where we live, we don't see that. Not a lot anyway. You know, there's little little minor displays, but down here it, it is openly celebrated and and worshipped almost. That's not you you're the one who wants to do the work. That's just accepting people for who they are. We've been desensitized to it. No, you you're really sensitive about the fact that other people exist. And the people around you don't want them to be repressed. It's weird that that bothers you so much. Before we continue with the story, we depend on members to keep on going. Don't wait, click join now on YouTube. That said, if somebody wants to move to another country, they can, they can do that. So they went to Russia and they had this to say about it. It's a Christian nation that is wanting conservative Christians to come. So they imagine it to be this place where people like them are gonna have rights, but the people they don't like won't have rights, it's gonna be great. Says uh, this is the wife saying Canada is not the same country. It uh, oh no, I think this is the husband. Still, Canada is not the same country it used to be, and we didn't feel safe for our children there in the future anymore. There's a lot of left wing ideology, LGBTQ, trans, just a lot of things that we don't agree with that they teach there now, and we wanted to get away from that for our children, so they don't feel safe. That there's acceptance. Mm-hmm. What if? And I know this is gonna blow your mind. What if your kids end up being gay or trans? What about that? Now, I know you think that you're going to just either teach or beat that out of them, but it could happen. Anyway, um, they moved to Russia and they discover a little bit of a problem. Their bank account has been frozen. Okay, so in a February 8th video, the husband explained that he'd been informed that the family had run afoul of this banking law in Russia, requiring them to prove where the funds they'd been deposited came from. So in addition to the money that they got when they sold their farm and other assets in Canada, they had also deposited a substantial sum that they made via donations from supporters of their YouTube channel with no documentation as to the source of that money. The idea there is that this Canadian family so hated gay people that they wanted to move to another country to flee gay acceptance. And other people saw that and thought, here's my money. Weird, but that's what happened. And so uh, in the original version of that video, the wife says, I'm very disappointed in this country, Russia, at that point. I'm ready to jump on a plane and get out of here. We've hit the first snag where you have to engage logic in this country, and it's very, very frustrating. (laughs) And then they realized, oh, this isn't a free country. You can't go online and be like, this country sucks. It's frustrating. I want to leave. So they took down that video, they re-edited it, removing the criticism. And before we get to our discussion, here is their updated apologetic video. One thing that also made us want to pull it down and make this video in hopes of explaining it better, uh, we were alerted also about a news story. Um, Anissa put a little clip in that video of her venting her frustrations. And I feel like that news story that I read anyway, took that little clip and made the whole story about that little clip. And it was like a minute long segment where she was speaking. And I don't think it accurately reflects the entire video that we put up. And that's why, again, we took it down because it's not reflecting who we are and what we feel. We have no desire to leave this country. Yes, in frustration, she said, you know, I'm so frustrated. I feel like just going home. Why does she say that? Because at home, we can understand the language. It's English. And that's... the. Again, that's going to sound funny. We're not upset that you speak Russian. We have to learn the language and we are going to learn the language and we are learning the language. It's going to take time, but she's just frustrated with it all because at home, it's just simpler for us. 
Yeah, very frustrated, but not but not frustrated with you or the government or the state. It's us. We're frustrated with ourselves. Please don't send us to the gulag. And uh, and I don't want them to. You know what? I don't want them to be locked up. I don't want any Russians to be repressed by their government. I don't want Russia to be a dictatorial authoritarian state. I think that's a bad thing. From their from their point of view, they thought it was going to be a great thing. Because people like them are going to be elevated by the dictatorship and the people that they don't like are gonna be repressed and they're gonna get to watch it and laugh. Oops, it's not a free state. It doesn't always work out the way you think. It's just amazing to see people like come to understand what authoritarianism is in real time. What do you think? Absolutely. Francesca? Yes, and by the same token, um, the very fact that people can fly pride flags in Canada is why is how people can also criticize the government of Canada mm -hmm. and criticize whatever the hell you want about that country. That is called ahem, freedom. That's what a free country and a democracy should be. Now, do we always live up to that in so-called democratic countries? No, but that's particularly right there, freedom of speech, freedom to show the pride flag, the transgender flag, freedom to also, I guess, say some homophobic stuff, right? Say some you know stuff that's critical of your Justin Trudeau government. Like, and it's just amazing to watch. And look, I've lived in other countries. I don't understand this banking law. I don't know if it's like particular to a more authoritarian country. But like when I lived abroad, I didn't have to tell anyone why, like how, why I had, you know, $7,000 in my bank account. Like I, I, I didn't have to like <laughs> disclose the money that I had. No, that's generally not how things go. But then you move to Russia and it is. Um, also, I mean, you could have also just moved to Florida. Like, do you know what I'm saying? That's like, I, true. Like Canadians, yeah, like it's a lot closer. Just go to Florida. Just go to Florida Texas or something. Anyway, I just want to close by saying I don't want anything bad to happen to this family. I mean, I I find sure. that guy's views to be reprehensible, and um, I I hope for his children's sake that they change because uh, people are saying he has eight kids, which means that by the numbers. One of them statistically is likely to run afoul of their ideology is all I'm saying. But anyway, I don't want them to lose their money. I don't want them to be locked up. I don't want that guy has like a 50 50 chance in the next year of being sent to the front lines of Ukraine. I don't want that. I don't want any of this to happen. I don't want authoritarianism, okay? But this is how it works. There's a lot of people who are just like them who are thinking when it when it comes here, when it comes to America, then we're going to be well off. Then the good people are going to be defended and respected by the government. And all the bad people are going to be repressed. Yeah, that's not historically the only result of dictatorship. <laughs>